Hey, how are y'all doing today? I just got uh, back from door knocking and that's so much fun. It, I love going to the gym, I love milkshakes, I love doing a lot of different stuff. But just going door knocking and meeting people and smiling at them and smiling at you and asking if you'd like to have a Bible study or sign for a Bible study or visit your church is just a great way to spend the day. Um, so I, I was at a church, um, I was talking with a lady who does Okay, well, somebody's right behind me and I'm parked, but I guess they need to park here. Okay, so let me just move, move over here. And, um, anyways. So, um, and she does door knocking every single month. Once a month with her church group. I was visiting a church. And uh, she was saying, it's so hard to get results. It's so hard to get results. Uh, and I was telling you what the Mormons do. The Mormons, they do door knocking and they have to go to a thousand houses to get a result. For people that aren't Mormons, so I've, I've talked with and interacted with and read research on those who are in the Lord's Church and they say it's 30 to 50 people you got to interact with. And usually in an hour you interact with six people. You knock on doors, six people will show up. And so it takes a while to get, get, get a good number of 30 people, does it not? So it does take time, you know, but people say, "Oh, well, door knocking, if, if you do it, you got to do it on Saturdays or Sundays. People are never home on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, but guess what, people, folks, I started door knocking at 10 o'clock, uh, 10, 20, and did it for 20 minutes, because this is super hot right now. Didn't do it too long, and I talked to 10 people. People are home during the work week, families, uh, couples, children. Uh, you know, it's it's not like you can only do it on Saturdays and Sundays. So I interact with a lot of folks, and um, and uh, everybody was positive. People also think another misdemeanor about door knock. If you knock on people's doors, they're going to throw potatoes at you or or, or carrots, and they they're going to sick the dogs on you and they're going to have cats on you, and you're going to have cats jumping all over you. And it's going to be horrible. That's not the case. That's not the case. You do door knocking. 90% of the time, if not 95 or 99% of the time, people are going to be respectful and nice. So that's another Mr. Neighbor. So anyways, there's this group, uh, a liberal group, Church of Christ group. They don't endorse everything they teach or say, but they get hundreds of people together to do door knocking and they like baptize 100 people a week, um, which is amazing. People say door knocking doesn't work, it works. And it's a lot of fun too, once you get comfortable and used to doing it. Um, so I just want to share these things. You can do it during the work week. It works, 20 minutes. Doesn't have to be a lot of time. Uh, you can just snatch it out, 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there. The point is, if you reach enough people, you will get a result. If, if um, usually it's 30 to 50 people, that's what I've heard the stats say, and the Christians say in a brotherhood. 30 to 50 people, if you reach that amount, you will get a Bible study. Again, the best way to do door knocking isn't to say, here, here's a flyer, take this, take this. The best way to do door knocking isn't inviting people to church. You can do that. You can add that in, the invite. But the best way to do it is inviting people to sign up for a Bible study. Say, hey, we have a great Bible study uh, series that we're doing. Would you like to sign up for it? We'd love to study with you sometime. Or... What the Mormons and JWs are doing, which they're growing their congregations by leaps and bounds because they do door knocking. And they don't pass out flyers to their denominational congregations. What do they do? They invite people for what? Bible studies. That's what they do, and they're growing. So you can take a note from these people what works. Uh, so if you're going to knock on a door, you can ask people to sign up for a Bible study, or you can say, hey, uh, we got some great material. If, if today was the last day on earth, are you 100% sure you're saved? Yeah, I would love to answer that and study some Bible questions with you if you're interested. Or something, some other format that you can present to people to to get their interest in wanting to have a Bible study. Uh, you know, it's a lot of questions you can say, but that's a good point or question. They say, we're saved. Well, that's wonderful. Would you like to study more and, and, and learn more about what God wants you to do? And I got some great stuff I can share. People also say when it comes to door knocking, I'm already saved. I go to church. 
I don't need to read the Bible. I've studied the Bible enough. Or, or I'm a Bab Buddhist or Islamist, any of these things. Whenever somebody says any of these things, you can say, well, it's, it's great that you're reading your Bible or it's great that you're going to church or a interest in spiritual things going to a religious group. And also, it's, it's, it's interesting that you're a Buddhist or Islamist. Would you like, in any of these things, to study simple things, simple word, for if you're going to church, it can help you in your, in your walk with God. If you're studying the Bible, we got new content that may, may have never heard about before. It can help you in your walk with God. You're Buddhist? Well, we, let's talk about that. I got some great content that can help you learn more about the interconnections between Buddhism and Christ. Or you're Islamist? Well, that's great. We, we can talk about that. I got some great contact, content that can help you in connection to Islam and in connection to Christ. We can talk about that. Anytime somebody says, well, I read my Bible, I go to church, or I'm a Buddhist, whatever, just say, well, I got Bible content that I can share that can, we can discuss that's connected to what they're saying. And that, that, that goes a long ways. So, yeah, when somebody says, you know, I, oh, I go to a Baptist church. I was talking to a lady today, and she says, I go to a Lutheran church. She was planting flowers. I, I'm the uh, church organizer. I said, oh. Well, that means you're interested in spiritual things. Would you like to ta talk about the Bible, and, you know, uh, and uh, discuss things that are of interest to you? You know, if somebody says, I go to a church, or I study my Bible, I'm already saved, just compliment it with, well, the Bible, our Bible studies can help you with what you're saying, where you're at. And it's a lot of fun, too. It's a lot of fun. Did this, then went to Burger King, and felt like a king, and had a milkshake, and it's... Now going home and doing some housework. God bless you. Hope it made sense. Take care. Goodbye.